Hello and uh, welcome to my uh, video presentation about sustainable food on holidays. Uh, my name is Klaus Fritz. I'm working at the Institute for Tourism Management at FH Wien University of Applied Sciences of WKW in Vienna. And I've conducted research on sustainable food on holidays together with my colleagues Dagmar Lund Durlacher and Hannes Anton Schmidt uh, from Modul University in Vienna and now I'd like to present our findings to you for the next 10 to 15 minutes. So what are we talking about? As probably all of you know, the total number of tourists worldwide is rising constantly. Almost uh, 1.2 billion international arrivals in 2015 are pretty much and yes, the tourists all have to eat and drink on holidays and especially baggage holiday travelers expect a wide range of food, often all-inclusive packages. So the main question now is how can tourism businesses manage to minimize the impacts of food consumption while maintaining customer satisfaction? Our project and our goals um, what, what was our project about? Uh, first, we wanted to define the concept of sustainable food in the context of holidays. Uh, we wanted to identify strategies and practices uh, for creating a more sustainable gastronomy, gastronomy offer. Uh, we wanted to understand how package holiday travelers feel about sustainable food. And last but not least, we wanted to define management implications. That's our research design. Of course, we started with desk research based on a literature review. We conducted a review of eco-certification schemes and an analysis of best practices. After that, we continued with our field phase. We conducted site visits in Gran Canaria and Antalya. It was the first part and the second part uh, was a customer survey uh, in cooperation with major tour operators. And the outcome was uh, a definition of the dimensions of the concept sustainable food on holidays, some policy recommendations and implementation guidelines for tourism businesses. So that's our research design in total. And uh, now let's take a closer look to the definition of the concept of sustainable food in the context of holidays. Uh, when we talk about sustainable food, we have to think of it in a holistic way. First of all, sustainable food has to meet ecological criteria. We all want to sustain our natural environment and uh, therefore uh, sustainable food has to meet uh, certain standards like for example uh, local food production. Of course it's also about uh, economy. Uh, tourist businesses have to meet uh, economic goals and therefore also F&B de departments have to follow certain uh, economic restrictions. Sustainable food is also about culture and society. Uh, for example, uh, local production or uh, fair, working, fair working conditions uh, for the employees are a must uh, for a sustainable food chain. And last but not least, we've got the health aspect. Uh, of course, a sustainable diet is important for uh, your personal well-being and it has to fulfill um, certain health aspects. But is it really as simple as that? Uh, no, it isn't actually. So let's take a closer look to, to tourist businesses. Uh, that's, the, that's the value chain that food goes through within a tourist business. So obviously it starts with the purchase, you can see it here. Um, but what is the purchase about? It is about, as I already mentioned, about local and regional food. 
It is about seasonal food, uh, organic food is another important uh, dimension, and fair trade products. Next steps are the preparation and presentation of sustainable food. So it is important to design a sustainable menu and to prepare it in, in a certain way uh, so that your customers will like um, um, your sustainable food offer. And it's also important to think about food presentation. Am I going to offer schnitzel as big like this or will I just offer little portions uh, of schnitzels? And especially when you have a buffet, for example, people like to try a lot of different things. So it is highly recommended to have smaller portion sizes. And last but not least, we've got the consumption here and of course, Along this chain, we have the waste management is a really, really important point of sustainable food and working conditions plus uh, engagement for society. And this is what we call the main sphere of influence for touristic businesses. And of course, uh, when one has to manage the implementation of sustainable food operations, so we kind of try to derive management implications, uh, what can be done to make sure uh, your sustainable food offer is, is a good offer for your clients. So the next step was the identification of strategies and practices for creating a more sustainable gastronomy offer. Uh, what we have done, uh, we've conducted site visits, as I already mentioned, in Gran Canaria and Antalya. We developed a checklist containing 44 criteria uh, and then we conducted structured interviews with 22 uh, chefs, F&B managers, facility managers and general managers. And we kind of uh, worked on the perceived drivers and barriers and managers' attitudes and expectations. And we have, we have also analyzed company reports, standards, guidelines, supplier lists plus our own observations and interviews. So our results of the investigations in the destinations are, first of all, there's a high level of interest, but low level of implementation. So the tourist businesses would be interested in, in um, meeting certain sustainable food criteria, but the implementation is still very low. Drivers can be cost advantages. Sometimes it simply can't be cheaper to buy local. Uh, in Turkey, for example, there's a high level of agricultural production and it is much cheaper to buy local. Therefore, uh, the level of local food is already really high. Another driver can be external pressure from tour operators, for example. If tour operators uh, really insist or really demand uh, a sustainable food offer, it can be pressure for, for hotel businesses to, to, to do so. And as I already mentioned, it depends on the agricultural production level and the food prices. Uh, in Turkey, we have a high level of agricultural production, whereas on the Canary Islands, we have a low level of agricultural production. And of course, most of the food has to be imported on the Canary Islands. Other findings were that energy and water consumption is not measured, so there is a lack of data uh, when it comes to these uh, dimensions. Um, the volume of food waste is up to 60% of the purchased food quantity, so that's, that's really a lot uh, when you consider this value chain. It depends on legal regulations, but as you can imagine, food waste is, is a huge topic in terms of sustainable food. And another barrier is just uh, a lack of awareness and knowledge and uh, sometimes insufficient staff training. So that's, that's a field uh, tourist businesses definitely have to work on. First, uh, we wanted to understand how package holiday travelers feel about sustainable food. Again, we have conducted a comprehensive customer survey based on desk research. We've defined key aspects 
we developed a questionnaire. Then we had our field phase, it was really successful. We had about 8,000 um, questionnaires. Then we have uh, conducted a factor analysis followed by a cluster analysis. We wanted to define uh, six different types of consumers. And finally, we conducted a conjoint analysis uh, to analyze the price sensitivity uh, of the clients. So what are the results of the customer survey? Uh, just to give you a few uh, hints, I'm not going too much into detail now, but uh, of course people like fresh food, they demand fresh food, and what typically they want uh, regional food, food from regional production, and food that is typical to the destination. Um, so what we, what, we, what we have seen is that regional food is really important, whereas organic food, for example, is still important uh, for many travelers, but not as important as uh, regional food. These are the six types of, of, um, of uh, customers we have identified. Um, I don't want to go too much into detail, but what's important to mention is that in general there is a clear tendency towards regionality, so people really demand a regional offer, and up to 38, of res up to 38 percent of respondents have a strong interest in sustainable food, especially the sustainable culinarians and the regional culinarians. And those two groups, by the way, are, are like the majority of these groups is female and a little bit older than the other groups, whereas, for example, the excessive gourmets are uh, mainly male and a little bit younger. And nearly 36% of all respondents are in principle willing to pay more for uh, more sustainable food options. Uh, so yeah, there would be uh, the possibility that uh, you can uh, go up with your, you can rise your prices if you have a proper offer in terms of sustainable food. And finally, we wanted to define management implications uh, based on all our findings. So, first of all, it is important to implement uh, sustainable food principles systematically. It's not a one-time thing you can do and you can say like, okay, now I'm done. It's an ongoing process. You have to set targets and monitor them regularly. You have to establish long-term relationships especially when it comes to, to small-scale production from local farmers and producers. You have simply to trust them and you have to know that, that you can rely on them and that they deliver um, like a high-quality uh, product. You should offer education and training for employees because if your employees don't know what's going on, um, it will be, be hard to, to deliver your messages. Therefore, you also have to focus on continuous communication with both sides, with, with guests and with your employees. And we highly recommend to develop different communication tools uh, just to make sure that everyone knows uh, what, what this all is about. So yeah, that was it. Pretty much, uh, I've included here some resources and useful links for further information. I don't want to go through this now. If you're interested, you can look at it. Uh, here's some more links. Maybe one more hint for you. We have, uh, as, as, a, as a main result, we have developed a manual or a handbook for sustainable food. It was released in March 2016 and you can find it on the Futurist website here. You can see the link. So this is pretty much a summary of our project. And if you're interested in it, uh, just download it and take a look into the manual. And of course, um, you can find here my contact details if you are interested in the topic. 
Uh, I, I truly appreciate your questions and just uh, feel free to get in touch with me anytime. I'd happy to answer your questions. Uh, yeah, thank you very much.